I really wish y'all could smell this cam candle through this camera. Y'all need to go to Hobby Lobby and literally go smell the Italian bergamot and cashmere. It literally smells so good. I cannot freaking even. And I also got another um, essential oil and cleanse, which is what I already have. But this right here, oh my god, I had to get the huge one. Like, this is the biggest candles they have. And I had to get this one because this freaking thing smells so good and just... I don't know. I can't even explain. Like bergamot is always like a strong, just like rich to me scent and the cashmere just sweetens it up and warms. It really smells like Kirkland's or something. I don't know. That's the only way I can explain. I can't. I, I it's giving me pine. It's kind of giving me pine. I think that's why I love it so much. Kind of smell like pine, but I'm gonna switch this out. I'm gonna bring this one, which y'all know I freaking love. I'm gonna put this one in the hallway for now. But I might go sit in the bathroom for a little while with the door open. So that um it could kind of have that smell. So I was kind of sitting up. Oh, I was kind of cleaning up a little bit. It's not even windy outside. So me cracking my window not gonna let no way in, but I'm just so still smells up from them cleaning products. I'm close custom spray. Why is this light yellow? On my fabric. Spray it on my carpet. This is a Myers clean day and this is a room refresher and then this one is, I don't know, it doesn't say this, oh, lemon. But it smells good, it doesn't really just smell like lemon. It smell like, oh, see citrus. It has a citrus scent in there too. Put these, oh, I'm about to fall. This is Pootie's dog pads, and I have a little, I have a little draw for him. So basically, <clears throat> so basically what I'm doing is taking the deveining the shrimp and taking the shells and putting the shell in the pot so I could boil it for the flavor. Okay, so my water's boiling. So I break them in half because I don't want <clears throat> like extra, extra long noodles so i just break them and then i'm gonna mix them a little bit because i don't want them to stick and then i'm gonna set my timer i do not want your noodles to freaking overcook so set that for 10 minutes make sure you do not top your pot top your pot back up or you will be very sorry i'll take four ever to freaking back shrimp because this just is a long process trying to hurry up because first of all i'm hungry. second of all I'm trying to hurry up and finish for when we go by my grandma before the freaking parade traffic start and yes, I wash my hands, okay? And I wash my hands before I touch the pasta noodles because I didn't want that shrimp on that pasta noodles. Okay, so now this is all the shells that I was taking out and putting in this pot. I got that what, um, water in there and now I'm just about to season the water to make the flavor. So I'm gonna use, this is how I know I know how to, I, I think I could boil the seafood. Do a seafood boil. Whoa! What? Wrong side. No, it puts so, or actual soap. But the little comfort is at this point because we got all that over in now. But the thing is, this is just the juice that you just add in the pasta sauce, you know, to, to loosen it up as a broth. So it really don't matter. Yeah, we just wanna add more water to this, so I'm gonna put it in a bigger pot. So, that was awful, but I recovered it, so that's all that matters. So now I'm just gonna put a whole carton of heavy whipping cream, cause this is how I make my room.
after I put my whole cup of, I mean, after I put my whole cart in of heavy whipping cream, I'm going to let that simmer a little bit and cook down just a little. And then I'm going to do my next step. So what I'm about to do is make me some bleach water because I'm about to start messing with chicken and we ain't trying to get no salmonella bacteria in our body. And no, I'm not going to put the chicken in bleach. I like somebody in freaking thing. So for the sake of this video, I'm gonna season my chicken and oh, oh, whoa! How <laughs> the freaking top falling into the pot? So we're gonna make sure all tops are on tight. I'm gonna season my chicken in this bowl. Season all a little pepper with the way pepper going to death. Garlic powder, onion powder always, and I'm very, very heavy handed with this because all this do is add flavor. It don't add no type of salt. It just adds flavor. And this way your chicken tastes like something and don't just taste like black old chicken. So I am very, very heavy handed with this. What I'm about to do right now is put cream of mushroom. It don't taste like mushrooms. I mean, it might taste like mushrooms, but my pasta don't taste like mushrooms. So I just filled this can up halfway with the shrimp juice that I made and I'm gonna pour that in my pot and I'm gonna mix this all together and I'm gonna let this simmer and I'm gonna make some my chicken. I'm just about to season this flour. So just put the chicken in there. Check all the trash bags. Shake it around. Now I'm just gonna season my sauce. Zulu ball catering food. Zulu ball came early. The Zulu ball came early. Yeah. It's so good. Girl. It feels good. <laughs>